my next guest tonight is going to be appearing at the Funny Bone Comedy Club in Columbus, Ohio this weekend. Please welcome a very funny guy, Greg Hahn. Show. How are you, everybody? Woohoo! I'm all right up. I'm Greg Hahn. I'm out of Florida. I'm a little hyper and I drink shampoo. How do you feel? Okay. Oh, I'm all pumped up for this crowd. I was backstage there. I was drinking the protein shakes, taking the vitamins. I'm taking the St. John's for my wart. I'm doing the whole thing, everybody. I go, but I had the big weight belt on with the name on the back. Steve. I don't know who Steve is, but he's missing his weight belt. I'll tell you that. I'm going nuts out there, folks. I was back there. I'm going I love to work out. I go to the gym. When I go to the gym, I like to meet people. I like to help people out. This one guy wanted me to help him crack his back. You ever seen these people? He's got his elbows sticking out. He wants me to pick him up and shake him all around. I just gave him a little push down the stairs. <laughs> Cracked everything. But never mind. I just moved to Manhattan. I'm all riled up. I got a basement apartment. I'm in the basement. You know, I got the carbon monoxide, the radon gas. I sleep like a champ. <laughs> loosen up, everybody. Loosen up, baby. I don't have time for the laughs. I got a show to do. All right. So anyway. The chicks dig me, though, in New York. They love me. You know, this one girl, they're always hitting on me. You know what I mean? This one girl, they're always coming up. They're always making the move on me, which is good, because my pickup lines are the worst. You know what I mean? I'm horrible. I'll be like, so, hey. Hey, hey. Are those your eyes, or did somebody take the stars from heaven and jam them into your face? Phew! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hey, I was in the Marines for a while. All the Marines out there joining with me. All the Marines, let's hear it. <laughs> How about army people? Army, who, who, who? Salvation Army, ding, 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 where are you? I know you're out there. The Marines, oh, it's awesome. You get to go to boot camp, they're always screaming and yell at you. Everything contradicts. It's like, come here, get back. Come here, get back. Get up here, get away from me. Suck it up, outstanding. Everything's outstanding. Today we're gonna hit you in the head with a pipe. Outstanding. As Soon as I got out of boot camp, my sister got married. She had me seat people at her wedding. I was all riled up, you know? These people would come walking up to me at the church. They're like, oh, you must be Patricia's brother. Sit down! <laughs> 200 people showed up. I put them all in the same row. <laughs> get down, get, get up, get down, down! <laughs> Why? We're not comfortable. Outstanding! <laughs> Nobody steals these jokes. All right. <laughs> come on, everybody. Loosen up, folks. I know what I'm doing up here. All right, enough, enough, all right. So did everybody have a nice Christmas? <laughs> or holiday, whatever you celebrate. Hanukkah, whatever. I, t I always have a good holiday. You know why? Because I do not kiss my relatives. I've come up with something much more fun. Because when you go to kiss your relatives, you don't know which cheek to go for. You're doing that stupid head dance. <laughs> you can catch your lip. That ruins the whole holiday spirit. <laughs> now, with a headbutt, it's straight on. <laughs> you know what I mean? There's zero confusion. It's like, Merry Christmas, Aunt Lulu. Bah! Her shoes fly across the room. Her big dumb wig goes askew. All right. I'm a physical comic. Okay. All right. I'm all excited. I went to college. I went to college. I was an English major. My favorite author was Cliff Notes. Seriously. Come on. I didn't learn anything. I couldn't even do my laundry. I never used detergent. I just chuck in my deodorant. Time. The chicks liked it. They're like, oh, your pillow smells nice. What is that? Speed stick. All right. Thank you too much. All right. I used to have a corporate job, everybody, but I figured, why should I have a job that pays $200 a day when I could be a comic, make that in a week? <laughs> I was the worst at interviews. They're tough. They're very serious at these job interviews, aren't they? You know what I mean? You walk in there, they got those questions. Uh, first of all, can we get you something to drink? No, thanks. Had a few beers before I came in. <laughs> Didn't mean to snap at you. Do you have any experience? I don't even have an appointment. <laughs> they always ask you questions. They try to get you to sabotage yourself. They're like, so uh, where do you think you need improvement? As if you're gonna say, I love to throw staple guns. <laughs> uh. Hey, you ever gone to a job interview, taking a look at everybody that works there, then decided you don't want that job? So then you might as well just clown around through the whole thing. You know, it's like, so uh, what can you do for this company? Oh, I can do this. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The party's out of control. My head almost came off. 
The interviewer's like, really, can you tell me a little something about yourself? Well, I've got pink eye and my foot's asleep. <laughs> I love to pull my groin. <laughs> I've got matching silverware for the plate in my head. <laughs> hey! I think I can fly. Like, perfect, we'll see you Monday. Okay, take it easy, everybody, I'm done. That's it, you're a great job. All right, all right. Red high, everybody. Take a breath. We'll be right back. It's our show of the night. I do want to thank all my guests. Stay tuned for later. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye bye.